that the rain fell. It was spread out over 11 days that we didn't see another flood on Lake Travis. Let's check in live on the situation out there with meteorologist Natalie Ferrari. Thanks so much, Jim. You know what? This summer has been an incredibly healthy one over here at Lake Travis. Uh, after multiple flooding events have brought it to 100% full, not once, but way more than once, even earlier in the summer. Now, uh, not only did we actually hit 100% over the last few days, thanks to recent rains. If you recall, we went through a very similar situation back in May when Lake Travis reached the highest level observed since 2007. Uh, while the lake did drop several feet since May after a number of dry spells, parts of the lake's inflow region received more than 15 inches of rain just over the past two weeks. And local businesses are thrilled about how such a full lake has kept them very busy. It was steady the whole summer. Like, the whole summer was so much work, but it was worth it. And, you know, I actually spoke to multiple businesses here along Lake Travis. You know, with school starting, they are anticipating it to slow down just a little bit during the work week. It's going to be the weekends. They're not letting their guard down just yet. The weekends they're anticipating to continue to really stay very busy with such a healthy lake. And with our upcoming Labor Day weekend ahead, again, they're not letting their guard down just yet. Reporting live at Lake Travis, Natalie Ferrari, KXAN News.